I thought it was in here. All right, so let's go one more here. Can we do we dare go four and zero? Oh? It's too resin. It's probably an older card. What does it look? Can someone describe it to me? What it would look like? Like in first grade vernacular, what would, what does that card look like? Looks like a 12 and 0 dream. It has a monster beating a drum. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep it. Yeah, Silver B, I just want to see it first. It's beating a drum with a fish. One version is beating a drum with honkers. <laughs> Imagine a Godzilla. What's a Godzilla? What's a Godzilla? Godzilla? I think we got a shot here. What do I think of the 76ers getting, getting Jimmy Butler? He's my favorite meme generator. I think you're going to be really good. I don't think they'll beat the Celtics, but I think they're really good. Uh, all right, let's get started here. We got Rook Charger. So whenever it attacks, target creature without flying gains flying until end of turn. That's really good. Your Z button doesn't work all the time. Oh, Dark Step. Dark step, where are you from? District guide or vigilance? Let's go this one. Yes, please. Um, I think we have a well balanced. We'll take I'll take a forest. I'm okay with taking a forest on this one. We want we wanted that that gate so bad and we haven't picked it one time. What happened to Depot's Depot? Oh, don't worry about it. Depot's Depot's coming right after after this game. We got two packs to open. There'll be some pack we essence. I think that I think the Sixers will be good, especially if he meshes with them. But I just think Celtics are gonna be tough. Uh. In before Groot. Um, he's got. I think we're in a bop here. Or, mm, yeah, we'll bop. I was gonna block here. I'm glad I didn't super bop. But that's a good card because, look, he gets a plus one, plus one right there. That's a good card. Bucks are the best team in the East. I'll tell you what, Giannis is playing out of control. Like, someone literally needs to stop him. He's completely out of control. Double flyers? Triple fly... Triple... Triplicate flyers? Pack we essence needs a trademark. <laughs> this guy should fly. Let's go. I don't know. I still I like our chances here. What do you guys think? Alright, let me ask you guys this. Orin Emily, I'm not gonna call you out, but I'm gonna call you out. I'm gonna guess. I think you have like 200 IQ. You know a lot about a lot of stuff. <laughs> like I know there's, you get to know people in the community, you know, like just people like different stuff. They're into different stuff. <laughs> Depressed. No, nah, it's good. I just pretty dialed in. But, I, but at the same time, like I think that's uh, thinking on a fourth wall meta breaking thing. When you hang out for a while, like people that like similar stuff tend to hang out. Armid Armadil Spark, 200 IQ is Galaxy Brain. How do you? Can we take an IQ test? 
on stream or is it does it not work like that um i'm gonna block and bop i think can we bop after or do we have to bop now No, he can discard to pump that guy, so just take it. Mm. Just take it. All right. I don't know about an IQ. So how do you how do you get an IQ test? I would do it on on a show. I I, I don't think I'd ever do IRL. I mean, maybe like a one-off, but I wouldn't do like a, a weekly thing of it. Contact Mensa. All right, this guy. I mean, I think we full swing here. And Fly City. A legitimate one. Visit a psychologist spent three hours in a box solving puzzles. Really? That's how you do it? Yo, I think we should bop him. Or is that a waste of a bop? I'm thinking bop. Or is that waste of a bop? That my instinct is to bop. I'm waiting for one person to say bop. It's a waste. Okay. Never mind. Alright, three people in a row said a waste. It's probably a waste. Four people, five people. <laughs> Alright. Um, that's what that's what I'm talking about. Front seating. Hop in the front seat. Tan leather interior. 2009 Ford Escape. Two cracks and the three cracks in the windshield. One of the cracks is amazing. I had to show it to you guys. One of the cracks in the windshield is amazing. Did I like splay, say, slay the spire live? I did. I really enjoyed it. Now you can bop the one three. Oh. Get some. There's, I mean, depending on where your mind goes, Glow Spore Shaman could be. A couple versions of Little Brother spam and chat, but I'm not going to go down that route, so I'm just going to take it down. I would like to do... Um, so there's like an integration for Slay the Spire for Twitch. Is that right? How does that work? That's something I'm super interested in. I can't believe you can't take an IQ test online. Let's put it this way. If, if life was D&D, &D, you put everything into intelligence and constitution. Charisma is negative six or so. <laughs> I, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. What is constitution? Yo, that's what we do. Chat votes on which cards you pick. Is it easy to integrate or what? Twitch integration IQ test. Constitution, hit points, health, resistance, sickness, and disease. Mm. So to me, that says, like, that's what it says. Health and fitness. Constitution. That doesn't, I don't, I don't connect that synapsis in my head. I don't, I don't put that in there. I tried to enable a uh, heat map once. It wasn't that easy to, to use. That's pr MTG has its own Twitch module called Deck Master. Was unaware of that as well. Wait, what happened to our fly guy? He's... He killed it. Oh. Yeah, I, I mean, like, that's what I'm about. So, like, we've been able to 
you know, thanks to QB, QB made a bot that made it easy for us and us meaning it's easy for you to input things like percentage chance of victory, A or B, like made it super easy. So I'm glad we have that, but anything that integrates high levels of front seating, I'm about that. And if you guys ever see something like in Magic the Gathering Arena and Slay the Spire, or whatever we play or something you think would be cool, please at me on Twitter and the Discord say, hey, Dan, this integration just came out. You should try it. Because I would have 100% done that for this, hands down. Because I love that kind of stuff. And I think it makes for a way better experience and way better show. You want some fries now. You wonder where that came from. Hey, wh look, Wendy's is smart. From a business fourth wall breaking, I just think it's it's just getting started. Deckmaster also lets chat read the, the... Yo, we haven't been reading the flavor text. That's one of the best things about this game. We got to find some good flavor. The root is direct but challenging. Incidental, how are you with heights? No, no, no. Cats place their gifts with care so that a bare foot will step on them in the middle of the night. <laughs> Wait, I'm dead? How am I dead? I think we just keep swinging. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Um, I think we just swing, huh? Yo, Dr. Normal Love, Don the Gold Chain Red Shirt, courtesy of Jeff Beasy, exclamation point, prime spam in the chat. Dr. Normal Love 100% invented the first love column in the Detroit Free Press. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the community. 4-3 is a bomb. Wait till we drop the righteous blow on it. See how you like them apples. Yo, Meow Zebra, have a good one. Thank you so much for the, the pack we have since we're going to open it right after this game. Don't blow it, it'll live. What do you mean? Can't we do it after? Yo, Rex, thanks for dialing in. Hope you enjoyed the show. Oh, that doesn't look good. This looks like it feels bad, man. He's got 16 damage on the board. Go ahead, swing. You never know what could happen. We, we do have a Luminous Bonds just waiting. Luminous Bonds being top decked right here. Can I get T-Space D-Spam in the chat? If only we had Citywide. <laughs> We're going to top deck them here. A lot of hesitation out of Sandra. Come on, Sandy. We'll take three. I'll take three. I'm okay taking three. All right, top deck, top deck, top deck, luminous bonds. All right, we'll one bop here. He know he knows we got something in our back pocket. That's why you don't play the card. We'll we'll keep chipping away. This is life link too, right? So we're getting plus two every turn, more or less. What's up, the Michigan guy, 4321? Welcome to the show. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Actually, you just joined us, so hope you enjoy our last game of Magic the Gathering. Then we're going to do some pack we essence. He knows we got something in our back pocket. Let's the Golgari believe they should be given what they deserve. On this, we agree. See this guy's neck? I got an extendo neck. Give us an opportunity here. All creatures able to block assassin are able to do so. Yo. Force in our hand. Look at this. The golden deck. I think we're probably going to righteous blow that, huh?
That's probably... His deck is pretty good. Should we bop him? I feel like that's probably what we need to do. Is he going to swing for the fences? What if he's swaying for the fences and then we pull out a mega bop on the backside? He knows we got something here. I'm just... He can see the card lifting up. You hate... I don't hate blue. I'm just saying blue is resin. But Cersei is one of the most blue Game of Thrones characters wrong. She would be represented by a white card. Maybe. Maybe a red card. But definitely white. White coloration. Ooh. That's okay. That's a start. It's a start here. So I would say Cersei could be red black too. Definitely not blue. Blue would be like the Maesters or whatever. Playing the juicy green. Is that what white and green is? Juicy green? <laughs> juicy green. <laughs> they should make I wonder why they don't do a magic themed see they would have to license it that's the only way it would be fun if you put if there's like a Cersei planeswalker game of thrones planeswalkers that's what they should do <laughs> juicy green what is this come on should I give her the GG it's taking forever here White is mortality in order to the most anti Cersei things. De depends on your perspective. What if you what do you think Cersei's coming from a place of acquiescence? Uh oh. We could still bop this thing, right? I think I think she's gonna full swing either this turn or next turn, but she doesn't know we got a bop in our back pocket. No flavor text? Can I get some flavor? What is my man's doing? Bulgari Raiders. All right, this this is the move. Haste, they're coming out swinging. Can we withstand the blow? <laughs> Start spamming your go. Your go. All right. Here comes your bop. You got nothing. You, there's nothing you're going to do about that. Now. Now we got to reach into our back pocket. Bop. Bop what we can bop. No bop what we can no bop. Bop. I think we just block some of these, huh? So there's a kill. What if we just stop some of these? And we could take this guy out. I think that's what we're going to do here. Hear me out. Bop. Bop. So that guy's gone. This guy's gone. Um, and I think we're going to keep the rest. No. Can't bop the 4-3. Why not? Oh, he can't die. Okay. So we'll bop this guy. Bop, bop. And then... I want to keep the rest. Uh, let's just see what happens here. So we, we're not taking lethal here. I'm hoping we can TD something here and be all right. Your dad's a huge Big Brother fan? Tell your dad what's up. You should acquiesce to whatever your dad tells you to do. He's probably a smart individual. He also lets you lets you watch Twitch, a family-friendly stream, so he's, he's dialed in. All right, so we can do three. I 
think we should save this, huh? What if we do this? What if we attack and then play him on our defense turn? You know what I'm saying? If you play it, you draw a card. Ah! Yo! <laughs> we got some more land. We got some good land. We got some great land. Um. So we're, I think we're not done yet. So he's going to have four. We're going to have one, two, three, four to block. It's not game over. 100% not game over. Unless he has trample, it's not game over. But here's the thing. I think I'm going to swing and get plus... Or I'm going to swing and get some health back. Oh, and attack with shield mate. Vigilance. Yo. I want... I, I need some of that health. Give me some health. We got enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe one more turn. Turn two. There's nothing in your deck that will win. That's where you might be correct, but I don't believe that. I believe we, we're going to have pull out something. Because he knows we're going to do some hefty bops here. You don't want the elf to die, so you could have attacked with it. We got, I'm telling you that we got some big cards. We got a luminous bonds. We never know what's going to happen. You never know what can happen. A chip and a chair. That's all we need. We took out bust. You never know what can happen. He's not going to, is it full swing? You're going to, no, no, no. He doesn't want that full swing. What is he sitting on? He's got something there. We do have a 5-5 five, five flyer. Ooh. Why don't you pay that for life and become indestructible? I think we got it. We have an outside chance. So I think I'm going to let this one through, right? Because what do we do here? Block the four three. Block. Let's do this. Bop. 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 Let's see what happens, right? Let's see what happens. You never know what can happen. A chip and a chair. We still got enough to survive another turn if we don't attack next turn. Wait a second. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. We were so close on this one. Let's go. Let's go. Four for four. It's never over. It's never over. Oh, let's go. Now, nah, the question is, do we put this in our back pocket? Let's go. <laughs> Daddy likes it. Now, do we swing for these two bops? I think we swing for two bops here. That's my guess. Not the, just the hawk. 
All right. But we need to keep him healthy. All right. We got a chip in a chair. 7-7. Seven, seven. We... Mano y mano. Yeah, he thought he was Big Willie playing the 14-14. Now, you know what's good? We get 2 plus plus on this one. Oh, only if we could have doubled up on that. I'm going to... What if I let 6 through? What if we block and then let 6 through? Because, look, then we can double bop with this. We can, we can gas her up. As long as he can't pump. Or we, we sack town this. All right, chip in a chair. Give us those two boys back. It may be enough. Oh, give me that hawk back. I think we're going to win. I think we're going to win. I think we're going to win. He's only going to be able to block one. Oh, oh, oh. Give me another card, daddy. Give me another card. All right, let's, a chip and a chair is all you need. So he can block. We can get one. Yeah, may maybe get another pull here. Scum. That's a tough one. We All right, so he's got... We can get him down to six. Pump. Hmm. We can still pump twice. Save pump for defense. Here's my thing. He's going to get bopped. Hmm. That's tough. I don't know what to do here. Do we just one piece him here? And live to fight another day? I think maybe one piece. Pump Hawk Vigilance. I can't pump the bird, no. Pump Hawk Vigilance, dude. The tokens have Vigilance. Oh! I'll do one pump. Okay, I see you. Slide in the DMs, boys. Slide in the DMs. Two's gonna get through. I should have attacked with Beastman. I didn't want him to die. Don't, don't, we need that vigilance. We need one of those vigilances. We need one of the vigilances. Don't change it. Let us the V space, I space, G spam and chat. Come on, no timeouts left. Give us, keep the vigil. Let's go. Oh, we lost. No, we didn't lose. He last no, we got three. Not dead. Let's go. He can only bop two. He can only bop two. We're gonna survive. Live to fight another day. Gas up healers, Hawk, and we got it. It's not over yet. It's not over. It's never over. But we we literally have to TD. This is not game. Cause his best move would be to not swing, my opinion. Just let us build up our army a little bit here. <laughs> Let's go. 
Yo, time that dude out. Yeah, we're going to survive one more minimum. What's he doing? A chip and a chair. A chip and a chair. He didn't swing. He didn't swing. <laughs> he didn't swing. I think we plus him, right? Pump the hawk. <laughs> a chip and a chair and the wood shamer. We're not done yet. Give me another card. Give me another card. Why you do that to me? Why, why you treat us like that? Enchantment, boys! How much mana do we have left? I don't know if we got it. We got enough. We got five. One more makes six. Let's go. And give us another card in our back pocket. A chip and a chair C, capital C, lowercase n, capital C spam in the chat. You never give up. A chip and a chair. I think we just hawk. We just hawk it up. A chip and a chair and legion of the light. <laughs> it's not over yet. No Hubie spam in chat just yet. But CNC. CNC. Look. You take the acquiescence. You combine the front seating. Maybe an unbeatable combination. Put us up against Daniel Negranu. And the other guy from Magic the Gathering. Chuck Taylor. And Bra Brandon, we bent the knee! He bent the knee! <laughs> bent the knee, Brian Kibler. Andy Kibler. Remember where you were during this moment. I'm gonna tell you right now. Remember where you were during this moment. There's gonna be people from time to time that are gonna say, you know what? You never know what's gonna happen. There's going to be people that that maybe say, hey, you know what? It ain't going to happen. But you know what we say to those people? I'm going to tell you right now what we do. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. The, your back's against the wall. You got Brian Kibler combined. With Galaxy Brain 9000, Daniel Negreanu, Johnny Chan, the best card players of all time. And you put him in an arena against a couple things. We'll take our reward, but it's not about the reward. It's about the Kobe Fry deck with the art. It's about the front seating, the collective one-time spamming of the the resin and when the chips fall somehow you end up 4 and 0 it's all about a chip and a chair capital c lowercase and capital c spam in the chat